hello welcome back to my youtube channel right so um if you have been following um the making of this two in one cloudy effect ball dress um this is like a third video um if you've missed out on the fair um, on the previous video please check the description box below for the pattern drafting and the garment construction part of this dress what we are doing in this video is the embellishment we want to beautify our dress and then i have different ideas that i would like to work with right so i have some crystal stones here and then i have the beads i have the brooch i have the cup chain and then i have this lace applique right so i plan to come up with something right i'm just going to take you along as i go ahead with it you can see me the first thing i want to do is trim out this i'm going to trim out this design out of this net so that um, i can be able to arrange them neatly around this chest area right i'm just going to go ahead and do that so um, there's a faster way to doing this there's um there's this soldering iron that um, you can use to trim out your appliques from the net. I don't have that, so I'm improvising with this. If you have the soldering iron, please go ahead and um, make good use of it. It's faster working with it, right? So, but if you don't have, make do of what you have. Okay, so. The next thing I'll start doing is I'll try to arrange this in a way that sits beautifully well on the on the dress and then I'm just going to go ahead and get my pins and pin it out, right? I'm going to leave this area because I want to use the cup chain to go around it. I think I should go around it first with the cup chain before I fill up the bra area with this, okay? Yeah, I think that's what I should do. So I have the matching thread and then I have my cup chain. I want to use this cup chain to go around my stitch lines first, all right, before I fill in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and thread my needle. You can use um, the invisible thread if you don't want the thread to show, right? I'm just going to do a single. So I'm just going to go from the inside here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'll try after this, I'll try to just go on my satin so that it doesn't go on the other side, but it really doesn't matter. Just ensure that so because it's a single um so you want to be careful. So some people would rather use the hot glue, right? You can use the hot glue, gone glue, that's um, glue that has gone. <laughs> you can use it to fill up, to just apply here, but then you have to do it very neatly. I'm used to working with, um, with my thread and needle. So I'll just go ahead and see how I can tack this down because it's a single chain. All right, so I thought I showed you a closer view of what I am doing. So this is what I'm doing. I'm using the rope to hold it on in between this, this there's a space here. I don't know if you can see in between this, the crystals, there's a space. So what I do is I pass my needle on there and try to bring it up and then the thread holds it on that part there, on the space in between the crystals. Okay. Yeah, so you have to be careful so that the, the thread doesn't stay on the crystal. If you're not careful, this, the thread is going to be on the crystal. So you try to move it and let it stay on the iron, okay? So just go ahead and see how far I can show you. Yeah. 
and that's it. Okay, as you can see, I have I have pinned the appliques. I paid attention to the designs on it. So the same design that we have here is what we have here, right? And then what we have at the sides also is what we have on the other sides too. I'm just going to quickly tack this down and then I'll fill it up with some stones, some of these stones. And as you can see it, right? I'm going to fill it up with some of these stones around. Yeah. Okay, so I did not capture what the beadwork looked like when I was doing the beadwork because I had other things I was doing. However, um, I've fixed, I've done this, right? This is a brooch. This is a brooch. I just attached the brooch there, but I've tacked all of this and I added all of these pearls. I've also done the beard and the beadwork. So the last thing I want to do is put this um, eye drop, <laughs> call it eye drop. Um, yeah, teardrop, sorry, it's called teardrop. I'm just going to put it at the center here to give it um, a bit of a blend, right? So I'm just going to take my thread and needle and then, um, I like to start from here so that the the body of this will cover the, the thread knots, right? So I start from the center so that this knot here would be covered by the by the body of the, the stuff and then I'll just pass it a bit to this side and then pass this into the hole that's how I fixed this ones. I'll pass it through. There are two holes. I don't know if you can see. There are two holes by the sides. And then I'm just going to ensure that it is at the center. And then I'm going to go over it again. not firm enough so you can go as much time or as many times you want to go just to ensure that it is firm on that side you want it firm and go over again just to get it to be firm enough Enough, I'll just pass it to the lower part here. There are two holes at the up, the top, and at the bottom. So I'm just going to pass this I'm just going to pass it inside the net so that we can hide our final. We can hide our final knots behind too, so that it's not showing. You want your job to be as neat as possible. 
right? So I'm just going to knot that like so. I opened the thread and then I'm knotting one and two. You can knot as many times as you want. Four times is okay. And then I'll just do that. And voila! Our dress is ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and um, fix the buttons. We'll fix the buttons and fix our our detachable. There we go. Remember, there's a detachable for it. Yeah. So that's what our dress looks like. Yep. You know, like I explained to us earlier that I was going to make a two-in-one detachable. So this is the detachable skirt and this is what it looks like. I'm going to put the hook and eye, the skirt hook and eye on it. And then it's just going to be on the child's waist like so. Are you loving the effect? fix the hook and eye if you want to learn how to make this dress we have an online course you can enroll for it as um, I'll, I'll share the link to where you can enroll for this course the full detailed course right on how to make this dress Here we have our dress. I'm just going to arrange this and make sure it wraps on our waistband. Voila! Don't you just love it? This baby is gonna shine bright like a diamond. I'm just going to fix the waistband, um, fix the hook and eye on the waistband and um, take a proper picture and video of it. you see what it looks like once and then. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, ask me questions. Is there anything you want me to, um, any course or any um, lesson you want to learn, any design you want me to create? Let me know in the comment section and I would see if I'll be able to create it for you. Thank you so much for joining. Have a beautiful day.